Hey there everybody, welcome back to another episode of Benji's Vlogs and Adventures. Thanks for clicking on the video. I hope everyone's had a fantastic day or night, depending on where you guys are in the world and what time you guys are watching this video. Now today we are at good old Barham Beat. We are going to be spending a couple of days here in a tent. We are planning on fishing for the next couple of days up until about Thursday. Uh, Friday is supposedly going to be raining, so I may stay or may go by then, but we'll see how we go. Uh, I know I'm going to have plenty of food regardless of if we catch fish that are decent size or not. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. Fingers crossed that it's not going to be as windy today. Uh, yesterday was a bit of a weird, horrid day, but uh, we'll leave it at that. Just having a quick gander at the water now. It doesn't look too bad, so hopefully it's going to be Mickey. But uh, i tell you what, you guys should have seen the moon last night. I'm going to put it in the next clip for you so you guys can have a bit of a gander. It was one of the best sights I've ever seen. So without further ado guys, let's get this video started. So, let's go. So we're all set up guys. Oh, tell you what, it's certainly good to be out here, that's for sure. 
We'll uh, spend a couple of hours doing this, see how we go. Uh, spent a couple of hours yesterday, but it was just as windy as what it is now. So hopefully, wind doesn't come too much of a hassle. But that sun on the water is an absolute pain on the backside, though. But I'm glad I certainly got these things, that's for sure. Because uh, without these bad boys right here, I'd certainly be getting a lot of migraines without them. So I'm certainly glad. Tell you what though guys, it's certainly good to have that sun out. Sitting up in the sitting up the shade there. Gets a tad cold. Not only that, sitting up there during the night time, just gets just as cold. Especially if you're like me and wearing shorts. Uh, should have wore bloody long pants, at least some jeans or something. But uh, this silly boy forgot. Alrighty guys, decided to go and get my other rod from the from the car. Got it all set up, I've got the weight right there, and I got the hook. Just using a standard number four hook, short shank, and we're gonna be using some corn straight off the cob. So hopefully this will help out with uh, trying to catch at least a fish today. I'm after one of three types out of this little lake. Uh, one of them is roach, the other is trout and the other is redfin so we'll see how we go with having some corn on the hook instead of uh, having the worms so i didn't only just bring the fishing rods with me i also bought this little thing with this i did however buy this off the ebay it's one of those little uh, crawfish or yabby nets and it's an el cheapo it's nothing expensive so See how she goes. All right, there it is. Little uh, four door sort of thing. We'll uh, set this up. Don't know where to sort of attach the rope though, that's the thing. I thought it was supposed to come with uh, like five meters of rope or something, but uh, looks like we might have to, as you would say, attach some rope ourselves. So I'm sort of thinking of just chucking this over by that log there see if I can catch anything I was originally going to put it over by that one there just chuck it through to the end of it between where that uh, dead old camp chair is but uh, I think that's probably best sort of uh, put it up over there see how we go with that all I'm really going to be using for it is tuna in spring water hopefully this will bring something in for us all I'm going to be using is some uh, red cordage that we've used in the past for putting a tarp up above our tent. This is stuff I was going to use for putting the tarp, tarp over before, but because the wind was a bit hectic, it basically didn't work out the way we want.
Alright, so we've got that all set up now. That's really the deepest I can get it. Decided to put it at the end of that log there, because that was really the best spot for it. I did try over there between the, that log and the, the shoreline, but it didn't work all that well. So over there was the best spot for it. So I'm going to leave that sit there, soak for about 24 hours, come back and see how it goes tomorrow. May or may not catch anything, we'll see how it goes, and we may end up having to change the bait around just a little bit, just to yeah, get, uh, get better luck for it. So it's about lunchtime, grab myself something to eat quickly, and then uh, head back down there. I'm going to keep an eye on those rods so that uh, if I see them bend, I can at least run down there, or try to run at least. So we're going to have a steak or two for lunch today, nothing too extravagant. So we're going to get that ready for us to have right now because we are hungry. There you go. Yeah,
Alrighty guys, we're going to give a fishing a bit of a break this afternoon. Going to go and have a bit of a gander and see if we can find some firewood. Doesn't have to be overly much, just a little little quick burn for tonight. I'm a little bit uh, disappointed because if you guys can see just, just there, there's a branch down on a tree just behind us. Uh, you can just see it going off that tree right there. It uh, unfortunately is still a bit green so I can't burn it. Um, well, it's a bit of a bummer because it would have been a nice piece. That would have done us for the night. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go down that little road just there. And I'm going to go both ways and see if I can find any sort of firewood for the night. I'm not going to bore you guys too much with that. I'm just going to go and find some if I can. Well, I'll tell you what guys, this was a bushcraft um, bushcraft video and it'd certainly be a fail on the front of fires. That is all I have so collected this far. That one there is a hardwood. I think that one there is a hardwood as well. So it's about half rotten. So that's basically all I've found so far. Uh, uh, I've at least walked a half mile that way and a half mile that way and uh, basically all that back there is all we found but uh, I might have another quick walk down along the shoreline might be a decent piece down there There's that idea for a fire tonight guys. I for one do not like to have a fire when it's windy like this. It's just, uh, I, don't, I don't know, it's just something tells me not to do it. So I'm hoping that tomorrow night is going to be a slightly bit better for uh, wind wise at least. But quite surprisingly most of today was uh, pretty decent. It wasn't windy most of the day. It was on and off but it wasn't that bad. I dare say most of these trees probably blocked a lot of that off from going that way. At the moment it's coming this way but uh, yeah I'm certainly pleased about how today turned out so I'm gonna check that little pot that I've got down there tomorrow morning sometime so if we've uh, actually caught anything who knows might be a bust might actually work out I want to at least catch one thing while, while I'm here and if that's yabbies or craw crawdaddies or whatever you want to call them then I'll be happy with that well, darkness is almost here guys, and the sun, the colour of that sky is amazing, absolutely amazing, look at that. Man, I'm certainly glad that I have come out here guys. I know it wasn't a perfect sort of series to start off the channel, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Gotta, gotta make mistakes to get better, you know. I'm not scared to put out fails. It's a part of life. So, I'm gonna go and refill up the kerosene lantern. And I'm gonna wait until the moon comes up because that is a spectacular sight, guys. I saw it last night and holy crap, I wished I recorded it. But uh, tonight, I certainly well will. But uh, for now, guys, I'm gonna go and sit back and relax for a little bit which I've been doing all day anyways. But I'm gonna sit back and, you know, use technology other than the camera, of course. So, I'm gonna go and do that, and we shall see you guys tomorrow morning. Until then, good night.